Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how to use GPIO pins of ESP32 development board. We will see how to use GPIO pins or general purpose input output pins as a digital output pins. We will see example of LED blinking where we will use one of the pins of ESP32 as a digital output pin and we will be toggling LED with a delay of 1 second. So let's see the general purpose input output pins of ESP32 development board. As you can see in this block diagram of ESP32 development board, in this tutorial we, will, we are using ESP32 dev kit. ESP32 dev kit supports 30 pins but all these pins cannot be used as a general purpose input output pins because 30 pin version of ESP32 dev kit supports only 24 pins as a general purpose input output pins but out of 24 pins 6 pins can only be used as a digital input pin for example GPIO 34, GPIO 35, 36, 37, 38 and 39 can only be used as a digital input pin we cannot use them as a digital output pin so we have option to use 18 general purpose input output pins as a digital output pins which are enough pins to use in any embedded system project so now let's see how we can use these pins in Arduino IDE to program ESP32 development board and how we can blink an LED with a delay of one second. So now let's go to the coding part. Here I have already written a code of LED blinking. First of all, we have defined variable LED pin and we have given a name LED pin to pin number 22. And now inside the code, we will be using this LED pin name instead of this number which is a GPIO pin 22. Now inside the setup function we are using pin mode function. Pin mode function is used to declare either we are using GPIO pin as an input or output. So in the input argument to this function is LED pin and output. LED pin specifies which pin we want to declare and output argument initialize this pin as output or input. If you write input here instead of output it will declare this pin number 22 as a input pin but we want to use this pin as an output so we have written output now inside the loop function we are using digital write function digital write function is basically used to write digital high or digital low on the respective pin which we have initialized as a digital output this function is used to control digital output pins first argument is a pin number second argument to this function is a logic state which can be high or low for example if you write digital write 22 high it will make pin number 22 logic high or 3.3 volt can be mayor at the output pin and if you write digital write 22 low it will make digital pin 22 low or you will get 0 volt at the output pin after that delay function is used this function is used to generate a delay in milliseconds if you want to add a delay of one second between turning on and turning off an led you will use this uh, statement delay 1000 and the only argument to this function is uh, the, the amount of delay you want in millisecond but in our tutorial for example if we want to generate a delay of one second so we need to write thousand here and there are two main functions used here set function and loop function in Arduino IDE set function is used for declaration or initialization of everything pin mode function is used for declaration of digital pins so it will be defined inside the setup function only. In Arduino IDE, loop function is like a main function in C programming. In C programming, whenever you want to perform certain tasks again and again, we use those C statements inside the loop. Similarly, we use loop function in Arduino IDE perform certain tasks again and again. For example, in this code, we are using this uh, write function to make LED 22, LED or GPIO pin 22 higher or low with a delay of one second. So we will be using a delay function. For example, we want to turn on this LED uh, on for one second, then we want it to remain on off for one second. So we need to add delay after every high or low state. Now simply uh, click on upload button to upload this code to uh, ESP32 development board. To upload this code to ESP32 development board, you need to make sure you have selected a proper board. Uh, which is ESP32 dev module by going to uh, tools and board option and you also need to make sure you have selected a, a COM port to which your ESP32 board is connected 
Now click on upload button to upload this code to SP32 development board. As you can see, the code has been uploaded successfully, and you will see the LED is blinking with the delay of, and you see that the LED is blinking with the delay of one second. Okay, this is how we can use GPR pins of ESP32 as a digital output pins. In the next video, we will see how to use GPR pins as a digital input pin. We will use a push button to control an LED.